English Test GESA Grade 5 Trinity College London For indefinite leave to remain in the UK Permanent Settlement British Citizenship Naturalization and Permanent Residency Self-Secure English Language Tests Okay, first of all, I'd help you out with uh, deciding a topic for yourself and once it's decided, then we will move to a mock test, okay? You're right, sir. Uh, this is a form in here and this is for Trinity College London. Graded examinations in spoken English, right? Okay. Can you see this form in here? Sorry? Can you see this form in here? Yes, I you can. You can hear my voice or not? Yes, I can hear you now. So, sir, I am saying that this is a form related to graded examinations in spoken English, Trinity College London, okay? So, you have to choose a topic. The okay. easiest topic is hobbies, right? So, can you tell me what are your hobbies? Uh, playing cricket. Okay. Uh, I'm going to write this in here. Hobbies is going to be your main topic and you like playing cricket. Can I make it playing sports because it's a bigger topic and then... Examiner yeah, sure. will ask you more questions about it. Playing sports. Yeah. More. More. Do you like traveling? Hanging out with friends. Okay, meeting friends. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. More. And uh, traveling. Further? Uh, what else can we add? Do you like watching films or listening to music? Anything? Yeah, sure. Watching films or watching TV? What would you prefer? Uh, watching TV. Anything else? You can give me two. Uh, let's go with the. Uh, do you like no music? Mm. Do you like eating out? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Mm. And what else do you like? Cooking, baking. You know anything that you prefer? What is it? Yeah, sometimes I like baking chicken. Maybe. Mm. Okay, tell me more. That... Tell me more. What do you like to do? Like every day like something that you enjoy doing do you like using your social media accounts like using a browsing internet if you like it yeah okay let's go with this one all right is that okay yeah please yeah. check my spelling if there's any mistake please correct me and uh take a picture of this keep it with you like a screenshot You're done. Cool. Okay, now this would be gone from the screen. Okay, I will be taking okay. a 10 minutes test with you. Remember this uh, okay. rated examinations in spoken English is just a 10 minutes test. There's no listening in it, just speaking. And there are two parts of the test. Part one is a discussion, okay, for five minutes about the five topics that you've chosen by yourself. Okay. And then another conversation for five minutes Examiner will choose two topics and about each topic, examiner will have two and a half minutes discussion, right? So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay. And um, I will not stop you anywhere. I'll not, uh, you know, stop you and tell you what to say. Just be yourself. Uh, the marks are given on the basis of three criteria. Number one is phonology, pronunciation. Number two, lexis, okay. that is your vocabulary. And number three, Okay. That is going to be your grammar. Okay. Right? Let's do it. Okay. This is Trinity College London, GESA, Graded Examinations in Spoken English. My name's Angelina. What's your full name? My name's Asad Salam. What's your topic's title for today? Uh, hobbies. What are your five topic points? Uh, playing sports, uh, browsing on social media, traveling with friends.
and what the other two. Wait a second. Keep the photo in front of you. Keep the photo in front of you. Okay, for now, because uh, okay. on the exam day you will remember. Okay, then I will ask you again. Then tell me. Or take a okay. take a while. Take a while to absorb the points because the examiner will take this paper away from you. This one. Okay. Mm. Once you're ready, do tell me. I'll restart. Yeah, I'm ready. This is Trinity College London, GESE, graded examinations in spoken English for indefinite leave to remain in the UK. My name's Angelina. What's your full name? My name is Asad Salam. What's your topic's title for today? Uh, playing sports, meeting friends, traveling, watching TV, browsing internet. Okay. How? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I asked you, what's your topic title? Okay, the first one, hobby. Examiner will, first question is, what's your full name? Okay, the second question examiner will ask you is, what's your topic's title for today? The third question examiner will ask you, what are your five topic points? Examiner will say, tell okay, me what are your five topic now. points. Let's start over. Okay. This is Trinity okay. College London. Let's do it. This is Trinity College London. I guess this is not ISE one, this is GSE. Let me start again. This is Trinity College London, GESE, graded examinations in spoken English. My name's Angelina. What's your full name? My full name is Asad Salam. What's your topic's title for today? Abhi. What are your five topic points? Uh, meeting friends, playing sports, traveling, watching TV, browsing internet. This is Trinity College London, graded examinations in spoken English. My name's Angelina. What's your full name? My name's Asad Salah. What's your topic's title for today? Abhi. What are your five topic points? Uh, playing sports, meeting friends, traveling, watching TV, browsing internet. Thank you. What kind of sports do you like to play? Uh, I like to play cricket, snooker, badminton, and some others as well. Okay. How often do you play your favorite sports? Uh, like once or twice a week, depends upon how much time I have. Okay, all right. Uh, could you please tell me about a recent experience when you played your favorite sport? Uh, it was like about maybe two weeks ago, I played cricket with my friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a great game. Mm. Okay, all right. And how do you spend quality time with your friends? Like, we like exploring new places, going to new restaurants, and uh, trying out new food. Okay. Um, do you think friends change with time? Absolutely. Okay. Do you have the same friends as you had in your childhood, or do you have different friends now? Uh, some of them are still friends with me. Some of them are still in contact. But some of them are new friends, which are made in London. What are the qualities of a good friend? Uh, loyalty, trust, and having a bit of love. All right. So do you think a friend in need is a friend indeed? Yes, I believe in that. Can you share an experience with us? Uh, let me think about it. Like a few months ago, I was going through hard times. So a few of my friends helped me out through that hard time. Like they were there in my corner. They helped me out like monetarily. And they were helpful in like 
getting me through that hard time as well. All right, sir. Could you tell me about a place where you would like to travel in the future? Actually, there are quite a few, but first on my list is maybe going to Amsterdam. Okay. How would you prefer to travel in the future? Oh, I can you elaborate the question? Like how how would you like what? to travel by car, by bus, by plane? What mode of transportation or what means of transport would you use for traveling? I like traveling either way, you know, by by car, by plane, by train, by the ship or the ferry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, so could you share an experience when you traveled in your childhood? Where did you go? Uh, I like to go up in Pakistan in the northern area, in the mountains. It's quite peaceful out there. You get the natural vibe of the, like, the mountains and trees and everything. Okay, so what kind of TV programs do you like to watch? I like to watch sitcoms. I like to watch like movies, soaps, and some live shows as well. All right. Um, can you tell me how much time do you spend while browsing internet? About two to three hours every day. What's your favorite website? Uh, Google. Okay, and could you tell me about something that you researched about or searched about recently? Yes, it was about the English test, which I'm just going through right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the end of part one, and you have pretty much passed with a distinction. You have clarity in your speech. You have uh, vocabulary. You have grammar for the B1 level, congratulations to you. This is the part one. Now, this is the topic that you've chosen by yourself and I don't think so, examiner will ask you difficult questions. I asked you very difficult questions, right? But examiner will ask okay. you very simple questions. Okay, what kind of activities do you do with your friends? Uh, okay, do you like to watch films with your friends when you meet them? Uh, where do you like to go? You know, what type of TV programs do you watch? What kind of examiner will use the word? And then playing very easy questions, not hard at all, but I gave you very tough questions. This means you're really good. Okay, now it is time for the conversation part. And recently, the topic that has been popular is environment, okay? And along with that, holiday, festival, uh, music, personal experiences. There was one more, hold on. Music best yeah means of transport. So I'm going to go first with means of transport. Okay, could you please tell me okay. about your experience of traveling by water transport? Uh, water transport. So the last time I traveled by water transport was back in 2018. I traveled from London to France by ferry, and then we got off at France, and then we traveled to Amsterdam. So it was about a two hours ferry from London to France. And it was like a good experience because that was the first time I was traveling in the sea. So it was quite scary as well because it was night and the sea was actually, it was everywhere you could see it was water. And it was quite terrifying as well for me. What is the most popular means of transport in your country? Uh, it's train, rail transport. In your country, Pakistan, rail is popular? I think rail um, transport is very I'm talking about London. I'm talking about London. In my country, the most popular is, I think, by road. Yeah. Because, you know, they might ask you, they always do questions like this, like back home, like in your hometown or in your country. Okay. They mean your own country, actually. Not, not this one. Okay. Yet. Okay? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, could you please tell me about uh, an experience of traveling by air transport? By air transport. 
the first time I traveled by air transport was from Pakistan to London, and it was quite a smooth flight. So I enjoyed the food as well, and enjoyed the experience as a wholesome. Oh, that's brilliant! That's brilliant. Could you please ask me two questions about the means of transport I use for traveling? Yes. So, how do you commute to your local market? Sorry, come again. So, how do you commute to your like local market, or like if you want to go hang out with your friends? I travel by car. Okay. And if you want to travel to like other provinces in Pakistan or something, how do you travel? Probably by car. By car. So you love traveling by the car. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now the second topic of discussion is a recent celebration. Could you please tell me about a recent celebration that you've had? Uh, the recent celebration I had was a friend's birthday. We went out to a restaurant, so we had a nice meal and we got his birthday cake and celebrated with friends. It was a nice time. Okay. What kind of clothes do you like to wear on special days like this? Um, I like keeping it casual, like t-shirts and jeans and trainers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Uh, what kind of food do you prefer to eat on special days? Uh, I like uh, traditional Pakistani cuisine. Mm -hmm. And some Indian cuisine as well. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I try Thai food as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you do to entertain yourself on these special occasions? Uh, for me, entertainment is all about having quality time with friends, having a nice chit chat, and just hanging around each other, having a nice laugh. That's about it. Thank you, sir. Would you ask me two questions about special celebration or a recent celebration in my life? Sure. So, what was the recent celebration you had? Uh, probably. I don't remember. Okay, yeah, yesterday I celebrated Easter. Easter, okay. That's nice. And the second question is, how do you enjoy your time with your friends? Special day. Keep your questions relevant to that. Mm. Celebration, okay. special day. Mm. You can ask me the so, same question, what like what kind mean? of food, what kind of clothes, what activities do you enjoy on special days? Okay. Because, you know, at that point and in time, people, yep. Yeah. yeah. So what kind of clothes do you like wearing on special occasions? Oh, uh, probably something very traditional. Uh, that's all. Thank you. This is the end of the test and you have passed with a distinction. Sir, congratulations to you. I think you're very, very good. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. If there's any question regarding the test, you can ask me. Besides that, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, you should be worried about anything. You're good uh, in all three points. Like, uh, okay. communicative skills are very important, right? That how you communicate. And you okay. were very active. Uh, while if you did not understand something, it was, it was very natural. I think this is what they want. They want you to communicate with them, right? Even if you don't understand something, it's, it's absolutely fine, right? Okay. Yes. So if you have any questions on your mind, you can ask me. So basically, that's pretty much it. I had no idea about the test, so I saw your video on YouTube, and for me, you look like quite a good teacher or instructor, would be whatever oh. you want to call it. I Thank contacted you. you to like get a taste of what's going to be in the test. Oh. So that's really, good to really hear. Good. That. Very good. Okay, you will pass with a distinction. I hope so, and um, I hope this video helps out many people. All right. Uh, yeah, your course. exam is tomorrow. Very good work. Yeah. No, my exam is not tomorrow, so I haven't booked the exam yet. So oh. I basically wanted to do a mock test before booking uh -huh. the exam. Uh -huh. The exam dates are like readily available. You can book it for tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Yes, any yes, day yes. You want. I understand. I understand that. Okay. Wish you all the very best. You're brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. See you. Goodbye. Take care.